this one here. So, there's the running. Can't take the uh, air cleaner off because it's She's running, so I'm gonna see if I figure out that little air cleaner issue there. They uh, never put it on there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bunch of nuts there. So, eh, weird. I don't know why, but it's down there. So, um, figured out why the fenders sit so high. They, uh, Put it out down here. I don't know if you guys can see this or no. Kind of, sort of. Maybe. Oh, it's so bright out here, I can't even tell if you guys can see that or not. But if you guys can, you can. You can't, but. Okay. Broke on both sides. This one don't really make any noise but I can see that it's broke see you can see on this side but yeah it's broke so um gonna do a little bit of a clutch issue or a clutch fix on this because when you press the clutch in I don't know if it'll do it without me being on there okay yep so well see ya right now go a little bit in Fine. You get right, like right there, which is pretty much where you need to be. Yeah. To engage the brake and everything. I'm pretty sure. Nope. Gotta yeah, go down farther. Yeah, you gotta go down farther, which is right, right there. To engage the brake. So I gotta do a little bit. Work on that, and uh, I think should be good to go. And I can't close the hood all the way down, as you can see, because I got that car battery in there. Um, I, mean, I, I can get this side down for a little. Yeah. Well, I took Rooney's advice, and as you can see, the gas tank is flush. I. Uh, I don't know if I got a piece going around here or not to show you. Yep. I, uh, this is from the battery tray. I drilled a hole and drilled a, uh, another one kind of on the opposite side of it. Wide enough to get my reciprocating saw in there and then went to town. I was gonna drill a bunch of holes in there like Rooney said, but that metal is just so thick and that pain right in the butt to drill. So I only drilled out two and took the reciprocating saw to it. <laughs> but um Yeah this uh engine tinge from that ten horse in there. So yeah, I thought it would look a whole lot better. Because there's the factory orange tin on there. So, uh, not factory for that engine, but. Um, and since the engine bolt there that was already broke only had a couple of threads left in there, um, what I did was I threaded it in there. Like I said, there's only like. I think there's only like two threads, if that, on there. So, uh, I threaded it down in there and blew some weld on top of it. There's a washer on there. And then I welded the washer right to the, uh, the bolt. And then welded the washer to the engine up here. So, I don't know how long that'll last. It, uh, it'll work for now. 
um, tractor works good. I mean, it runs good. It, uh, well, it runs good now. I got this mirror and that tire. For some reason, I didn't want to run with this air cleaner on. I don't know why, but I'm gonna figure out that. And then I can start using this tractor. Pretty sucky that I got it. <laughs> A while ago, and I couldn't even use it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the uh, brackets like these down here on the uh, SS12 there so I can use the uh, other deck if I need to, or if the hydro breaks down, I can just swap decks out real quick. Use the 12. So. <clears throat> also gonna put them on uh, this 10 here because you just never know so, you know that one don't really it, it runs halfway decent but not as good so I really don't know if it handle a death or not but I, I think it will but, but yeah there you go guys